In 2019, a holiday show called Ice Age was underway. We wanted to use a woolly mammoth as a prop in the show. We couldn't find a life-size woolly mammoth, so we decided to make one. And this started by buying a toy, which is three-dimensional and looks like an actual woolly mammoth. Based on this toy and some records we found from archaeological websites and books, we did the measurements and then realized if we multiply by a factor of four, we will get an almost life-size uh, figure of a woolly mammoth. So the projection was done on the wall with tracing paper and that was transferred into plywood and then we cut these plywoods into tools to make a three-dimensional. And to piece these pieces together, we make it look like um, how you put a jigsaw together. So it gives us the three-dimensional look which we desired, rather we, we were looking for. As we continue to piece together to make that bulk of the big animal, we figured out if we leave all these pieces as they are, they will be too heavy. So we needed to make it a little bit more lighter and we decided to cut these pieces, the mid of them, to remove that and make it hollow but at the same time without compromising the integrity of the structure so that it can hold its own weight. After completing a wholesome three-dimensional structure of the bulk of this animal, we then stand it up in some uh, makeshift props which acted like legs so that we can uh, figure out how to put in the legs. Um, meanwhile, we were making these ribs, we call them ribs, so that they will hold the, whatever the clothing material we wanted to use to cover the whole structure of the animal. So you can see the legs started being put together. We used the MDM, medium density boards to do that. And based on the toy all the time, making sure that you don't divert too far from the actual dimensions and the shape of the toy. And we put everything together by using the jigsaw style. Because the legs were supposed to carry all the weight so we made sure the integrity of them and the structure is really steady and stable and it's made with that material which it can be compromised just by the animal standing there. After the figure starts coming out together we shift on to the making those ribs you can see that makeshift steam there and then some other things like eyes were starting to be made and everything was made on separate and then we started putting together these pieces to make sure we get the animal standing on its own four feet after the structure was completed and all the ribs are in place we measured muslin we used the muslin to make like an undercoat you will say if you're painting something we wanted to use this so that we have that tout nice um like underneath surface this way when we put a cloth which we chose for the skin which is bulap it will look realistic with muscles so we used muslin and we wrapped it around the animal and then we get the bulap and we measured it right here we're just trying to see how it's gonna look like and to the funny part we started making the tusks and the trunk the tusks were made out of uh, actually conduits which were bent to measure and those color things there are actual swimming noodles and the trunk was made out of a vent pipe 
so initially we had that like that and then um, the noodles were covered by paper mache them and the trunk was just put together by an 8 inch exhaust um, furnace pipe At this point the animal is getting a little heavier so we disassembled it into all its three pieces and put on together all the um, pieces by themselves. The head had eyes on it and then the muslin was put in everything and sprayed it with glue and then it was moved to where it's supposed to be shown. In here, all the three pieces were put together back again to form the actual animal as it was supposed to be. Um, the head went in last and then all the muslin was put in together again real nice and tight. And now you can see all the other additionals were put together. That's little thing on top of the head. All the ramp was made nice and smoother. The muslin was complete and then we started wrapping the animal in a cloth material called the burlap which really resembles um, whatever the pictures of a woolly mammoth were. The tusks were painted and smoothened out and the trunk was now made with um, like a nicer gradual reducers. After completion, Wooly was moved to his place in the show and he was placed there complete. I hope this video will provide some insights on how to make a three dimensional animal of that size. After in completion, the mammoth was measured at 16 feet length. 12 feet height and 8 feet wider so this has been a process and I couldn't find anywhere on how to make this kind of thing or where to even start but we eventually pulled it off and hopefully someone else will benefit from the actual video thank you very much for watching this was a nice and very interesting project hope to do some more sorry this wasn't too much about plants but well plants were involved because it was a Christmas show so there you have it thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to this channel thank you